radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas. You can't see it, you can't smell it. It diffuses from the soil into the air, but in a confined space, such as within a building, it can accumulate and it can reach dangerously high concentrations. Long-term exposure to high levels of radon gives rise to lung cancer. Lung cancer is the leading type of cancer causing death in Ireland and smoking is the most significant risk factor for lung cancer. However, the second most important risk factor is radon. Anne O'Sullivan lost her husband Ted to lung cancer five years ago. They lived with their two dogs in a bungalow in Kilmacow, County Kilkenny. When he retired, we decided to move back over here. Uh, his parents lived in the bungalow, which was next door. Right, yeah. OK. But there was so much land with the property that we decided to cut it in half and have a new bungalow built. And how many years ago did you build the house? 16 years. Right, and you're living here ever since? Yes. Yeah. Ted was a smoker and fairly advanced in years, so it wasn't out of the question that he could develop lung cancer. But soon after he passed away, Anne experienced another unexpected loss. A few weeks after Ted died, one of the dogs was taken ill and I took it to the veterinary hospital at New Ross. And the dog was diagnosed with cancer. A couple of months after that, my other dog, which was only five years old, she was diagnosed with cancer as well. The vet there uh, recommended that I get in touch with the radon people because I could possibly have radon gas in the house. Well, I became suspicious when Ted had died in the October. Sally, uh, the collie, had died uh, in the December, and then Cindy was put to sleep in the June. I mean, that's way, you know, too much coincidence for my liking. At the time, we were building a house ourselves, and I had done all my background research and knew about radon. Radon is classified by the World Health Organization as a group one cancer-causing agent in the same group as tobacco smoke and asbestos. Smokers are also at greater risk than non-smokers. It's estimated that they're actually 25 times more at risk than non-smokers. Acting on our vet's advice, Anne contacted the Radiological Protection Institute of Ireland who recommended that her house be tested by a specialist. Well, a radon test is quite simple. You, you take a, a minimum period of three months, you put two testers in, and you take the average of those two testers, and then you apply an adjustment factor to account for the variations in the seasons. Radon detectors record the level of radon in a measurement known as becquerels. 200 becquerels per cubic metre is considered the safe limit. Detectors were placed in two rooms in Anne's house, which found an overall average reading of around 500 becquerels. Eugene, this was Ted and Anne's bedroom at the time, five years ago. How did you find it? Well, the first thing we noticed is that it has a high radon level of 519 becquerels, which is, it is, it is quite high. And in this case here, there's an air vent here, but this room is backing onto a garage, which was built after the air vent was put in. So this vent wasn't working? So it's, it's not working. So we put another air vent in here to bring fresh air in. And by bringing fresh air in, you do two things. You reduce the suction in the house, which draws radon into the room, and you also dilute whatever quantities of radon are in there. Then we check the floor. So in this particular case, we found in the wardrobe a hole about a foot in diameter. So the radon was able to come up through there. Correct, yeah. What draws it up into the room? It's, it's, uh, radon is drawn into a building by a suction effect, which is caused by the combination of wind and central heating and by the draw on your fireplace. So what was your remedy for the house then, generally? Well, in this particular house, it's a reasonably straightforward house. It's uh, a bungalow of about uh, 1,200 square feet. So what we did here was we put in an activated radon sump, which draws the radon out from underneath the ground. We create a void underneath the floor, and we put a pipe into that void, and we attach a fan to it. And that fan is left on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that acts like a vacuum cleaner and causes a vacuum underneath the floor which counters the natural suction effect of the building. So instead of radon being drawn out this way, we get air being drawn this down way. Down into the south down into from the, the house. Correct. What were the readings afterwards then? Did you do another test? We would always do a test. So this house was measured for another three months and the readings came down to an average of 25 becquerels. So Anne, now that you've done the work on the house and you've brought down the radon levels, how do you feel safe in the house now? I do, definitely. Definitely. And also, I've got two more dogs. And you feel they're safe I now? I feel they're safe now, yes, yeah. 
because I wouldn't want anything happening to them either. A national radon survey carried out in the 1990s found that there are higher concentrations of the radioactive gas in certain areas of the country. A map on the RPII website shows where it's most prevalent. It should be noted that there can be high radon in any part of the country. Newly built homes are also at risk. This is a radon sump which goes into every new built house in Ireland. And the purpose of this here, it's a standby sump which is used in the event of the house uh, being tested for radon. It, it does nothing to reduce radon levels until such point as a fan is attached to it. What else do you need to do? In addition to this, you need a radon barrier. So this sheet goes beneath the concrete and it provides a gas type barrier, in theory. It's a, a good form of defence against radon. It's not completely foolproof. So it's very important that houses, even with radon barriers, get tested. So really, with all of our new houses, yeah. we really should get a test done before people actually... Absolutely. You know, at the, as soon as you occupy the house for Absolutely. the first three months. Every house should be tested. The good news is that the radon is a health risk. It's an easily reducible health risk. And if you do find out that you have a problem with radon, it's relatively inexpensive to have it remedied. And once uh, the problem is solved, it's solved for good. If you're worried about radon in your home, why not have it tested? The test costs about 56 euro for two detectors and the laboratory results. The cost of remedy for this house was 1,500 euro. This can vary depending on severity from 200 to 2,000 euro, but this is money well spent. In addition to the new energy labeling at the sale of all houses, a compulsory radon test could be introduced. If levels are found to be above the safe limits, the problem could be remedied before causing damage to health.